So I want to share some pretty interesting information regarding the Packers offense heading into 2023. Before I get into that, I want to let you guys know I have been writing an NFL newsletter basically breaking down every NFL headline news every single morning, every weekday morning. So if you would like to see that and get up-to-date NFL news just every morning in your inbox, you can go to sidelinescoop.com. Um, I recently acquired the domain for Sideline Scoop, which took years because someone else owned it, and now luckily I own it. So you can go there and check it out if you guys want to stay up to date with NFL news. I've been writing that every morning for the past couple weeks. So now into the interesting information that I found earlier today. So I was reading some different Packers articles seeing what was going on, which there's not too much going on now until training camp starts in late July. But I was reading an article from PackersWire.com. They've got lots of great stuff over there. And it basically breaks down where the Packers rank when it comes to cap spending on the offense in 2023. So apparently the Packers are spending the second fewest cap dollars on offense in the entire NFL in 2023. And the only team that is spending less than the Packers is is the Carolina Panthers. So the Packers are spending $81.6 million on their offense, and this is not including um, the Aaron Rodgers dead cap hit. This is not including any dead cap hits. And so, of course, Rodgers being on the Jets, the Packers have a $40 million cap hit for Rodgers in 2023, which takes up, I mean, a huge, a huge portion of the Packers' salary cap space. And obviously, that's one of the reasons the Packers aren't able to add a lot more players is because we have that massive Rodgers cap hit, which we won't have in 2024 and so because of that because of the all the young players all the rookies losing Alan Lazard a few other guys the Packers are barely spending any money on this offense so here's from Packers wire they say this the Packers rank 28th in spending at quarterback 5.99 million that's of course Jordan Love 32nd in spending at wide receiver 10.1 million and 27th in spending at tight end 5.6 million or yeah 5.6 million Brian Gutekind's team is also 32nd in spending at wide receiver and tight end combined so with no Al Lazard with no Randall Cobb both joining Aaron Rodgers in New York with the Jets we've got Christian Watson Romeo Dobbs both two guys on rookie contracts we have Jaden Reed second rounder and then we have Samori Toure and still on his rookie contract a few other rookies as well and clearly we all know this is a very young receiver unit a young offense overall outside of some offensive linemen Aaron Jones at running back and a few other players so it's a very very young team and I think that as the next few seasons go by after 2023 first off is over and Aaron Rodgers 40 million dollar dead cap hit is gone the Packers should have some more money to potentially sign some free agents whether that's wide receiver whether it's not um we'll have to see how i think christian watson romeo dobbs Jaden reed lots of these young players perform in 2023 and depending on how they perform there's a chance that those guys do enough and are um you know enough for jordan love and, and when it comes to his receiving weapons if not i'd say the packers come in and use some some more money on a potential receiver who could boost that unit next season um, but it's a pretty wild number i think we all knew just how cheap this team is and how young this team is and it's mainly because they are young they are cheap because when players come into the league they sign rookie deals for four or five seasons and those are the typically very minimum contracts compared to obviously players who get longer term extensions so the Packers have a lot of youth here that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you guys thank you so much for watching as I said if you want to stay up to date with all NFL news go to sidelinescoop.com and you will be able to sign up for my NFL newsletter where I break down news every morning so thank you so much for watching I appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys next time